Hey, it's vlog time with Noisy Tut. And this, I swear, is how I used to wear my hair in the 90s. This is what it looked like. Minus a lot of this gray. Minus eyebrows. Or the ability to grow facial hair. So there you go. There you can picture a younger Noisy Tut. It's not a pretty picture. Well, except the gray hair. Less gray hair is probably better, but the rest made me look like a freak of nature. The magic archer army comes. I fall back and punch them in the gums. The magic archer army is coming to die. Gotta lay low. Hit them in the face when they're walking real slow. Pick them off one by one. Punching the midget army. The midget arch army. To try to get these to kind of curl like this. Like an opening to my face. The drapes to my face. Pulled back. Curved around. Beautiful. I used to have a lot of trouble with my hair as a kid, so. Yeah. But I thought I'd just wear the throwback. Just, just because I can now. Instead of just shaving it all off like some kind of skinhead. I thought I'd talk a little about uh, the Casey Anthony trial just because a lot of people are upset about it, including me. I'm, I'm upset that the jurors uh, found her not guilty. Uh, it seems like in today's age, I think it gets drilled into everyone's minds, especially people that are on the jury, is you're not supposed to just go with your instinct or something. You're supposed to listen to both lawyers, present their case, and it's almost like it has to be like some kind of game between them and whoever presents the best case is deemed the winner, even if their client is guilty as hell. And that, that's what, you know, they're told is fair. And in a lot of cases, I understand that because there are a lot of wrong suits just because you have something that looks like it's really plausible and it really happened. But with this case, it seemed like the only the only, uh, the only way they could have voted this way, and the only, uh, the only excuse they give, is because they couldn't find the middle stuff that happened. Because they, they, they could say they had a starting point with a perfectly alive little girl, and they have an ending point with a mother who didn't report her daughter's death uh, for 33, 31 days, something like that. Uh, what happened? Doesn't even try to talk about what happened, just tries to sweep it under the rug. And because they didn't have a middle, they don't have what exactly happened, how it happened, if it was negligence or if it was uh, someone killing their daughter, uh, they don't want to say guilty over that. And that's what I have a problem with. I mean, if you have a beginning and an end, you got enough. You don't need that middle. Uh, I don't really care what happened in the middle. Roast their ass. It, the whole situation just sucks. And a really bad sign is the defense attorney now is looking for a talent agent to represent him because he thinks he's an all-star because he represented such a guilty-ass client. Someone had a really good picture that I've seen around on the internet now. It has uh, O.J. Simpson with Casey Anthony and it says, uh, Hide your wives, hide your children. <laughs> it's brilliant, actually. Because, see, O.J. kills wives and... Casey Anthony kills children. <laughs> Sad but true. And both got away with it. So some people are talking about Google Plus and uh, how it's going to try to replace Facebook. I'm really hyped about this. I, I like uh, the idea of Google Plus. I think there is a market for that. What they really advertise is just separating everyone in different groups on Google Plus rather than just cramming everyone together on Facebook. Like, there's stuff on Facebook you'd want to separate your mother from, or your friends from, or maybe like your grandparents from, and just, or work acquaintances from, so they wouldn't see everything that you're putting up. And that makes sense. Uh, you don't, it's a, it shouldn't be like a all, you know, all come, all serve kind of thing where everyone gets the same thing. It should be able to section off those groups and, you know, feed them the content you want to feed them. So I like the idea of Google+. Plus. Plus, a friend on here was showing me on uh, YouTube videos with Google+. Plus. You can actually invite like different groups into a chat room and then display a video in that chat room. And I think that is awesome. That is awesome. Um, 
you know, there's some things I was thinking about doing was like doing riff rafts with different shows and stuff. And that'd be perfect for that where I could get people involved and we could all watch the same show and we could all, you know, find different commentary points where I would like to interject something if I wanted to do those kind of videos in the future. And also, you could, it, it'd be kind of, I don't know, kind of self-absorbed if you're just in there screening your own stuff. But I think it'd be interesting to show people other videos on YouTube that you would think they'd be like-minded enough to like. So, it's it's neat. That's I, That really took me by surprise. It's like, wow, that's really awesome. People are saying, you know, like Google Wave and some other Google projects, they tend to not fully back some stuff they do. They just put it out there and uh, don't really work with it anymore and don't push it to the level it needs to be pushed. Uh, so that could be a shortcoming and hopefully they see over that and really put some manpower behind this and get it out there because I think uh, you, Facebook really needs a good rival and uh, Google could give it to them. There's this really funny article that Oh, just some people, they don't really see it. I, I don't know if they could step out and see what they're doing. But there was this, I don't know if it was here in Georgia. I, I remember reading about it, though. And I really can't recall a lot about where it took place. But I know it happened. There was this government-sponsored program where these people traded in their actual guns for gas cards worth $120 worth of gas. And, then, you know, they bring the gun, they give them the gas card, and they left, and I just thought that was hilarious. It's just, I don't know if people understand or can look at it, but they're unarming you people for a cheap trinket for gas. There you go. They unarmed you. They successfully took away <laughs> your right to bare arms, and you were easily sold out on it by giving them, for, by taking $120 worth of gas. And it's like they weren't even checking, you know, the value of the guns. They just, everything was 120 from a Beretta to a nice double barrel. Just everything. Ugh. So stupid. Come on. Come on. Uh, I was thinking about doing a skit on it. I, I don't have three actors. If I had three, I got, you know, me and Daniel. Uh, maybe if I scour up someone else. But the idea is that someone comes up, brings in their gun, gets a $120 card, and when they go back to the parking lot, there's a person with a gun and says, put that card in the pile with the rest. And the whole idea is because they're unarmed, they can't do anything about it against the armed guy because they traded their gun for a gas card. And he takes all the gas cards. So it's ha ha ha. It's funny, I think. I don't know. Your mileage may vary on the subject. But it just seems so stupid. And one of those things where people aren't examining it close enough to understand what's going on so yeah I just I would never take that deal unless I had like a really rusty gun that I knew wasn't worth anything and sure yeah I'll trade that but trading perfectly good guns that work for $120 in cash just red flags all over that shit and some people are saying oh well, they're protecting the people from shooting themselves uh huh Sure they were. They were disarming the public. <sighs> Alright, so Miracle Whip has started this new ad campaign where they have people tell you that they don't want to use Miracle Whip. Or they don't use Miracle Whip. Or they think uh, maybe they'll fire somebody if they work with them and they use Miracle Whip. And you think, oh that sounds stupid. That's atrocious. Well, actually, they got Pauly D from the Jersey Shore to do one of these commercials, and it makes a lot of sense, because you get these stupid celebrities that everyone hates, and they say they don't like Miracle Whip. Uh, it, it programs your mind. I do like Miracle Whip, because that asshole is an asshole. It's brilliant and just beautiful, because anything, anything Pauly D says, I just want to punch him in the face about it. So it's, it works, because it just triggers that in your mind. I'm going to do the total opposite of what he says. Bring on the Miracle Whip. That's what it does, and it's great. It's just, I, no one's ever really thought about that kind of uh, campaign before, but if you buy enough stupid people and make them say they don't like something that they're trying to hawk, you're going to hawk it. And I think that, I'll, I'll be interested in seeing themselves a Miracle Whip if they go up or down. I don't know if any place to really 
watch that. The, the mayonnaise channel. Looks like blue plates going down, bear clips going up. Duke's deadline. I don't know. Maybe someday. Get behind that, TV companies. Get behind that. But, yeah. Just seems like an interesting way of going about things. And there's enough douchey little reality show celeb craps that you could pay enough money to say they don't like your product that I think it'd make people actually like your product. Alright. Uh, someone had asked me they wanted some forms on my website. I've actually done that. There are forms on the website. Check it out. NoidyTut.com slash forms. And uh, I put up a topic that I thought was interesting. There's actually this Google MP3 code that you can use to search Google for all kinds of indexes filled with music. Uh, usually college students just back up uh, whole CD libraries online and this taps into those and helps you be able to view, listen, view, you can't view music, listen to the music and download the music and I thought I'd share some of my favorite links so far uh, sometimes when you discover them not soon after those sites get closed down so I, I put them up there and I say you know get it while you can I actually want to you know get some more but uh, one guy one one guy had like some really complete stuff on his. We're talking Beach Boys, the Beatles, the Dropkick Murphys. It's just so random with all this crap. Uh, some Bowling for Soup, some stuff I really like. Uh, the Dance Hall Crashers. So that's all in the form section. It's one of my uh, more complete posts. I had another post where I was testing things out. But uh, check that out, and if you want to, I, I tell others, you know, leave a link if you find something interesting too. I give the code, you put the band's name in there, you search, and uh, you come up with pay dirt. And if you come up with pay dirt, post it in, and so others can see, especially me, so I could rifle through the music and steal what I want. Damn it. Help feed the beast! Roar! I'll see you later, my sexy creepy crawlers! I actually made this the other day. I like this a lot. It's the brain with the spinal stem. And I put the white eyeballs. Look at them white eyeballs. I was trying to make the stem white, but it actually took on too much color from the brain seeping through the spinal cord, so what have you. <laughs>